Here we go. Women's 100 meters freestyle. We are all set and ready to go here. Hopefully, the athletes, I'm sure, must be itching to get out to, to receive the announcer's call for them to come on. It must be terrible for the athletes to be waiting that long in the call area, listening to their favorite song, of course, on the headphones. They psych themselves, they as psych they usually do. Absolutely right, Divian. You're absolutely right. They psych themselves up and they keep themselves as loose as possible as we finally meet the athletes. Lane number eight, Leti Mi Tao of Vietnam, just 17 years of age. She's more of a long-distance specialist. 59.90 seconds is her season's best the only one in the field to go below above 60 seconds in qualifying in the heats she will be in lane eight in fact this race will be bookended by vietnamese swimmers lanes one and eight tran tam way in and leti mi tao respectively Tain here is tran tam way in 58.90 is her season's best. She Lane finished two. eighth in this event at the last SEA Games. Time. Here she is, champion of 2007, Nathan 2011, Rondo. silver medalist in 2009. Nathanan Jung going into form by winning the Hong Kong Lane Open recently three. in 57.55 seconds. Time. Her compatriot is in Jinjira lane three, Jinjira Srisard, second at the Southeast Asian Swimming Championships last year. 57.71 is her season's best. Lane and then comes Rose Amanda Lim. Singapore. Will she finally shed that bright main image Lando. for a gold medal here? 56.63 is her season's best. She was second at the Singapore National Swimming Championships when she clocked that Lane time. Five. Then Jasmine Alcaldi from the University of Hawaii. Fourth in this event in 09 and 11. Primed to get into medal zone this time around. Here she comes. Singapore. Welcome back. Hua Tingwen, champion in 2009, silver medalist in 2007. She clocked Lane the time of 56.70 at the World Championships in Barcelona. Patricia Yosita of Indonesia is more of an individual medley specialist Lane who has decided to concentrate on the freestyle events and the EC Games. She goes in lane number seven. And here is Leti Mi Tao of Lane. Vietnam. As I said, it's a long distance specialist hoping for a good time in the 100 meters freestyle women they're off on the starting blocks just about to get ready of course they get off and we'll see who has the fastest reaction time which might affect the total outcome as well Amanda Lim is the fastest swimmer, female swimmer in Southeast Asia. Oh, unfortunate start for Kwa Ting Wen, was it? Or oh, was that uh, Jinjira Sri Saad? Amanda Lim's gone off very quickly as we expect. She is a specialist in the 50 meters freestyle, the fastest woman, a female swimmer in Southeast Asia from the 2011 Southeast Asian Games. But can she have the endurance and hold on to that lead? She will probably touch in first place just ahead of Kwa Ting Wen, who is a very strong finisher. It is Amanda in first place, Ting Wen in second place, Jasmine Alcaldi at the moment of the Philippines in third place, trying to keep up with the two Singaporeans sandwiched in between lanes four and six. Amanda versus Tingwen. Does this sound familiar? Well, they've been dominating races in this region for a long, long time, since 2009. What a finish this is, though, from lane number five. Jasmine Alcaldi slowly creeping up on it. Amanda losing a little bit of steam now, but it's Kwa Ting Wen who's slightly ahead. She's got to hold on to the lead. Kwa Ting Wen, can she hold on to the lead? Jasmine Alcaldi of the Philippines finishing strong. It will be Alcaldi who finishes in first place, just 0 0.09 seconds ahead of Kwa this is a surprise to a lot of people, but maybe not to Jasmine Alcaldi and the Swimming Federation of the Philippines because she has been clocking very good times this year. Tingwen is disappointed. A comeback doesn't result in a victory and a gold medal in a petty event in the 100 meters freestyle. She shakes the hands of Alcaldi, and it's Philippines' first gold medal in this event since 1989. We expected a goal either from Amanda or Tingwen. Instead, it's silver and bronze from the two Singapore ladies. And it's Jasmine Alcaldi upsetting the form book and winning gold medal for the Philippines. She reached out in the last 15 to 10 meters to steal it away from Kwa Ting Wen, of course. And Amanda in third with a bronze, as you can see. 56.65 is the winning timing. Jasmine taking the gold. 56.74 for the silver, 57.21 for the bronze. Jung Krajang, who has been placed in the medal since 2007, misses out this time around by finishing in fourth position. But what a final burst in the last 25 meters, especially. Amanda on the left, Jasmine. Now, on the, right, the victory ceremony Jasmine. for event 104, men's 200 
decided to send their teammates out to receive the medals. Celebrated. It's not uh, Amanda and Tingle for it. Those girls General are busy in the back preparing Tango. for the key swim CDM in the 800 meters freestyle relay, which takes place as the final event of the evening. So preparations needed, team bonding needed before the start of the race. And I'm sure their favorite to win that gold medal, if they do, they would come out as a team. All four of them. No fake identities that time around. <laughs> That's true, Mark. Jasmine Alcaldi, of course, part of a very small Filipino contingent that they've sent this time out to these games. And because of that, they don't have a relay squad in both the men's and women's events. It's a shame, really. But they've decided only to send their elite athletes to these sea games, not just in swimming, but every other sport as well. And after being shut out at the last sea games, they only won two silvers and five bronze medals. Finally, the back on the gold trail. There you have, of course, Jasmine touching up her hair, making sure she looks right for the pictures, of course, that will be in the newspapers tomorrow. Mr. Room from Singapore giving out medals. the statesman and advisor to the Singapore Swimming Association for ages and giving out the gold medal and we had hoped it would be a Singaporean but instead it's Jasmine Alcaldi who upsets the field and she's taking that back with her to the University of Hawaii she is thrilled biting onto her medal of course just to make sure it's gold Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. at the uh, start list for men's 400 meter individual medley and in all eight lanes of course very very strong very fast runners. Keaton Nutapong a person who has come on very strongly and said this could be the year where he focuses a little bit more he won two gold medals at the 2011 sea games and started off really as an individual medley specialist then went into breaststroke and full time into that discipline before coming back and uh, taking part in the breaststroke as well as the individual medleys in this event. Men's 400 
the SEA Games record belongs to his coach at the moment, Ratapong Srisanot. Thanks, Ratapong Srisanot had a brilliant run in this, winning four in a row, won a total of five. 1993 to 99, he achieved that four in a row, and then in 2003, Sri Sanat winning another one. It was just Towai who broke that record when he took goal in 2001 when Ratapong Sri Sanat decided to skip the SEA Games then. It looks like the race lane will be seven. very close between Kwa Seng Wen and Tetin Ratapong. Of course, lanes five and four are what you need to watch out for. The national record belongs to Tung Wen, 421.70 at already below SEA Games record. Lane number... Lane six, three point well, from Vietnam. Introducing the lanes from back to front. Tran Du Khoi of Vietnam has just been introduced in lane number six. Lane five, was fifth in 2011. from Singapore. Southeast Asian age group champion. Here he is, the defending champion. A national record holder, 421.70. If he swims to that time, no one is going to beat Kwa Tung Wen. Look at that quiet confidence as he warms up. That 421 Play over the four. last couple of years Another is almost three seconds quicker Thailand. than his nearest rival. And this will probably be his nearest rival. Keaton Mutapong, 21 years of age. Only Southeast Asian swimming at the World Championships where he clocked 4 minutes 30.07 seconds. He was second in this event in 2009 and decided to skip it Matt at the last Lewis event. Navata from Philippines. One of two Filipino-American swimmers, Matt Lewis and Navata at DC Games. He is a butterfly specialist, so expect him to go out very quickly. He's from the University of California. He's got a season's best time of 4 minutes 28.15 seconds. Singapore! Pang Sheng Jun of Singapore, sports school alumni, 21 years of age, has slated to swim in four events. He was fourth in this event in 2009. And he's got the second fastest time in Southeast Asia this year, 428.5. That's incredible. Rodri he has a lot of uh, experience. From course, Indonesia. 20 years of age, Quartin Win at 16 years of age, and that's very young, right, Mark? Absolutely right. And Tung Wen, of course, uh, had this event in his pocket. Uh, this was the first event at the last SEA Games, as we see Roderick Luhur, fifth in the recent Hong Kong Open, swimming in lane one. So the men's 400 meters individual medley. Lanes one to eight, bookended by Indonesians. But it'll be lanes four and five. And maybe a bit of a challenge from Matt Lewis Navata, who's an unknown commodity in the Southeast Asian world putting up some stiff resistance to Mutapong and Tung Wen. Tung Wen will go off very quickly in the first 100 meters. He loves the butterfly and the backstroke, especially the backstroke. Big kill marks. It was this event back in 2011 that opened the windows to a golden sunshine for Singapore swimming at the Palembang Games. 19 golden smiles that came along with it. Kwa Tung Wen started it all. Can he repeat that feat? It's a race that usually has winners repeating. Gerald Item of Indonesia, Eric Buhain of the Philippines, Rata Sri Sanat, Miguel Molina, they've all won either three or four in a row. Will this be the era of Park Tung Wen? As expected, he's gone off very quickly already. That's right. And pushed very quick off the wall as well. Into his favorite stroke, actually, Butterfly. It's a backstroke that is his favorite stroke. And the Butterfly, of course, he is akin to it as well. Gives good competition to Joseph Schooling, our main butterfly specialist. Keaton Mutapong is doing a very good job to keep in touch with him. Just half a body length behind, going into the backstroke. Where Kwa Tung Wen will be hoping to build on that lead just slightly ahead of Keaton at the moment. In third place is Tran of Vietnam. Already a goal for Vietnam in the first event in the 200 meters individual medley in case he just joined us. And this is where Tung Wen pulls away. Magnificent technique that he has inside the pool. Shoulders very close together as you can see making sure that his head is and the chin's as far away as possible from his chest. Still now three body lengths ahead of Keaton Mutapong who is very good in the breaststroke. Now if he can keep in touch two three body lengths behind over the next two legs Keaton Mutapong can play catch up. It's still the same three who turn. Kwa in first, Keaton in second spot and Tran of Vietnam in third spot. In fact Tran of Vietnam is slowly inching away into that silver medal position ahead of Keaton Mutapong. But watch for Keaton the Thai submarine specializing in the breaststroke. Quartum one. What a swimmer he has been. Three Asian Youth Games gold medals. 
slated to swim in three events tonight. Going into the breaststroke now. Halfway there, and he is four, five body lengths ahead of Tran Dui Khoi of Vietnam, who is just ahead of Keaton Nutapong, whom we expect to come on strong now in the breaststroke. Parton one, of course, magnificent in the freestyle. He's swimming in the 4x200 meters freestyle relay, which will be the final race for tonight. Actually, the penultimate race for tonight. Look at Keaton slowly catching up now on Tron. And perhaps the Achilles heel in the individual medley for Quantum One. He's going after that Sea Games record. Remember, 423.20. If he comes close to the potential that he's shown over the last two years, that record is going to tumble big time out of the stratosphere. The national record is 421.70, which he set last year at the Singapore National Age Group Championships. They're catching up on him in the breaststroke. But once it goes into the freestyle, that's when Zheng Wen will kick on. He's got to maintain this, maintain his lead a little bit. He's flexing his ankles a bit more, he's turning to his left, he's having a little look at Keaton Mutapong, who's catching on him very slowly. Keaton Mutapong, of course, gold medalist in the breaststroke, and I think the tie will turn in first place just ahead of Kwa Tung Wen, but it might not be enough because this is where Kwa Tung Wen usually makes his living, and he will kick on from here. Kwa Tung Wen, finally with some competition, we'd love to see that because it only means that he lowers his times lots more. 421.70, remember that's the national record. It might be out of the equation right now, but a defending champion defending a gold medal that's nice to see especially if he's part and one the Singaporean pride and joy part and one with 50 meters to go after this turn just ahead of the Vietnamese Tran Dui Khoi who was fifth in 2011 and much better showing this time from the Vietnamese to turn in second spots just ahead of Keaton Mutapong 50 meters left it's still part and one looking for Singapore's first gold medal of the 2013 Sea Games in swimming cheered on by the team Singapore ambassadors Quartan one, still slightly ahead of Keaton. Keaton is coming on very strong now, propelling away. Keaton Nutapong putting a little bit of juice in his kicks in the final 50 meters. Quartan one, can he hang on? He's got only a few meters left. Quartan one, still ahead of Keaton Nutapong. Quartan one will touch in first place. Just point one eight seconds ahead of Keaton Nutapong, who was tremendous in coming back very strongly, but still could not defeat the Singaporean in the freestyle leg, despite leading after the breaststroke leg. Last 100 meters, Quatung Wen took off in second spot. He caught up and with 50 meters left, had a body length lead ahead of the Vietnamese Tran Dui Khoi, who came in in third place in the end. And Keita Nutapong, out of nowhere, found some extra juice, extra motivation in his strokes, decided to extend on the length of his strokes and almost caught up with Quatung Wen. But the defending champion has defended. Here you go. Face full of confidence, of course. Victory for Singapore as we take home gold in men's 400-meter individual medley.